RI プレゼンツ See People Mountain People Chapter 2 Encounter with Mythology Previous Overview Recognizing each other's existence, Tuka and Tokupshu deepened their understanding by conversing in front of the giant tree. One day, Tokupshu said she had something she wanted to show Tuka and showed her something. She showed me a small wooden box. Among them were beautiful stones and ornaments of various sizes. The stones come in light green, yellow, a mixture of brown and black, and some glow black, and she found them in rivers and seas. After all, she is a woman just like me. When I thought that all women like glowing stones, she said that she sometimes exchanges food for glowing stones. And after adding that this might be the same as money, she thought silently for a moment. I don't know what she's thinking, but I think it gave me some hints. Was it helpful? Among the things she showed me at that time were daggers and mirrors, which were gifts from the Wajin who lived far away. However, the daggers and the mirror were both slightly yellowish in color, unlike the daggers and mirrors I knew. In particular, mirrors cannot distinguish colors due to the influence of yellow. But this time, I could see Tokupchup's face. Her face looks a little bit like mine, but also slightly different. She said she was surprised when she saw her face for the first time in the mirror. She had seen her face above the water, but it was the first time she had seen it clearly, and she was happy that she looked exactly like her mother. Her mother, she said, is now in a settlement a short distance away on an errand. I wanted to see her mother's face, but I should be able to see her when she comes home. Instead, when the story of Wajin came out, I was curious about what she had been talking about front of the giant tree with her sister before, so I asked her a question. Then, it is about Wajin, and a young man from this village liked a girl in the village of Wajin, and it is said that it is a hot topic. When her sister heard that the young man wanted to go meet a girl, but was stopped by the villagers, she felt sorry for the young man and consulted her. So she decided to go to the village of Wajin and listen to the other person, but she was worried because she didn't know how much she could understand the other person's language. That's right, it's the same for me now. If everyone can't understand the other person's language, it's hard to communicate.
According to Tokupshup, the mother is well aware of the language of the Wajan, and it is the mother's role to communicate with the Wajan. She is the only one in this village who understands the language of Wajan. But she still doesn't fully understand Wajan's words, which is a source of anxiety. At that time, I suddenly remembered that she had said that my words were those of Wajan. If that's true, maybe I can understand what they're saying. I'm a little curious about what kind of people the Wajan are, and if I meet them, it may be a clue to know this place. So I suggested to her that I explain what the other person said in an easy to understand manner, and then listen to my explanation before judging the answer. She still looked a little worried, but agreed to try as much as she could. A few days later, together with the young man in love, we set off for the village of Wajan, located upstream of a nearby river. Today's story ends. The continuation of the story will be updated tomorrow. Please look forward to If you like, please subscribe to the channel.